first I think we'll I think we'll roll in now. Right, so I'll camera on. Well I'll do it right now when we start when I sit down and do a sell ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. So uh yeah. Uh, you want to check if I'm picture? I think I'm in picture anyway, but yeah, be alright. You know, I'm have to check the stones in the, in the camera, but I think it's all good anyway. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we're ready. Ready to just about start. Yeah. Lights so on. Cameras on. Uh, hats are off. Hats <laughs> down. Plus, uh, in in with the rain out of the summer, I guess now. Into yeah. the, into the into the into the autumn. Yep, that's that's why. Yep, that's, yeah. that's it. Summer's over. Done, done and dusted for now. Yeah. The not not the best summer. The yeah. one of the better summers probably we've had in had pretty much in this. And I think in my opinion, in that time being here, yeah, I think it's one of the better summers I've seen experience. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're just about ready to go now. Yeah, I think we've done all our checks. Uh, yeah, the rain is on that, so we're excited as well recording this, so, so it's yeah. going to up a little bit. So, so yeah, we're just a bit ready to go now. Yeah. Uh, so we now we start with this crack, I think you know how to start it. Okay, yeah, we're yeah. Clap. Three, two, one. <coughs> we're up to the Hats Off Down podcast, let's do another one. Okay. Three, two, one. Welcome to the Hats Off Head Down podcast. We're on episode 64 now. Six, in fact, 65. Hmm. Uh, not 64, 65. Alright. Oh. Halfway to 60 now. It's a lot of we'll podcasts. 66, so we're the next number. We'll be a good metal name, good metal, good metal number. Not 6 at 6, but 66 will be a. Keep going for a while before we get to that number. Yeah. Probably a couple good amount of years, so see how we see how we fare. So, we get the other game. On the game, we'll get we'll get the big names on by then. <laughs> so yeah, if we're joined by the one and only in in Chad, in Chad. Yeah. My basketball. name's my name's Chris. <laughs> and Chris as well. Oh yeah, yeah. So I had the member. Eh? So we've got joined by the two Chrises. Yeah. Uh, well, and the host of the podcast, you in in charge. This is a band based in Glasgow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, three piece band, a uh, three three piece rock band all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're all based in uh, based in Glasgow. So yeah, is it kind of rock? Yeah, I think it's probably like hard rock. Um, but you know, there is yeah. I'd say that overall people tend to say it's hard rock. You know, um, yeah. yeah, hard rock, kind of grunge, a little bit of metal occasionally, pop. You know, pop ballads. A bit of a mix though. Yeah, a bit of a mix, you know. Well, I had just heard a couple of your songs on the on the tube or so the YouTube uh, the music videos that they've got out at the moment. Yeah. It's very cool. So you got that one. I don't know the name of it, but you know the one that, the, the, the way it's one that you we quite recently. Yeah. Because so I don't want to be you. Yeah, that's very cool. I just mm. heard that one. That was just out recently. Yeah. Yep. Still out. Yeah. No, it was still quite catchy actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a couple of weeks since we're doing okay. But yeah, yeah, yeah get was a bees on it now, I think, too. I think so, yeah, hopefully, um, for the video, yeah. Um, that was a fun day. So we did even record that about, so it was just a nice uh, video, it was, it was just a one there still, it was just in a white room, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, it was in um, Broadwood Recording Studios in Glasgow. Um, oh, yeah. well, Broadwood Studios, is like a photography studio? Oh, is that? Yeah. Is that how they did it? Is that how they did it then? Like, it's got like an infinity room basically where it's just like a, you know, it's big white space. It's all completely painted white. So it looks like... I don't know what you mean, is that? Kind of like uh, Blink-22, What's Mage again? You know, if you've ever seen that video. Um, so that's really a similar thing to what they use. So quite nice and simple. Well, it's got LEDs as well though, so it's fully configurable. It's got like, like six LEDs. Yeah. Um, you can control each LED individually. That's that's really um, cool. with different colours like full RBG, so it was we end up using it in part of the video. That's where the sort of red flashing light comes from. Oh yeah. But it's good to utilise that eh, and utilise the yeah. lighting. Uh, just like that's like and this is this this is just like normal light and then we're just on and off lights, so mm. nothing to do with that, but strip lights to do the job, you know. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's a good video, I watched it and 
I think it was that was thing that he was prepared before that as well. It was another one that he had. It was the one he filmed in the canal somewhere, or not the the one he filmed in Glasgow. Oh yeah, on yeah. The, on the jet, yeah. Yeah. What was that? I mean, uh, that's called that's called Keep on Dreaming. Keep on Dreaming. Um, yeah, that one. That one was interesting. So, um, the we actually filmed at a couple of places. So one one bit we done it is the the Clyde's like on. Um, yeah, I saw that bit. Yeah, that was just in the Clyde. The, the other part we filmed it in the back of a really rich person's house really? in Mulgay. Um, oh yeah. The, the reason we got access to the house is because our drummer, who was nameless, uh, for this <laughs> in case anyone sees it. No, yeah, he was a drummer. He was a uh, Kev. Um, he he he's a gardener and he worked at this for this um. rich person. Um, <laughs> and. Nice. They hadn't actually moved into the house yet, and Kev said, "Well, look at sent us a picture." He said, "Well, look at this amazing. It's like a little um, jetty, you know. That's the, um, yeah. This p- person has their own sort of jetty in their house, you know, for their boat or whatever they have. That's it. Yeah. Um, and their back garden's like a football field, you know. And next to them is a castle. Um, is our next door neighbour. So then we Kev's basically, yeah, I'm going to ask him if we can use it. So we asked him, and the guy's like, "Yeah, you can use it, but you need to be gone by twelve o'clock." Okay. Uh, because my wife's coming to visit the house and sh- she won't be happy if there's other people here, yeah. you know. So then we we turn up as like look, we get there dead early. We got there, maybe we all got there about eight. But then, you know, Jason was about an hour and a half late. Okay, that's what I'm <laughs> so we yeah. couldn't do it without. So we're sitting sweating, you know, waiting for when it comes in. By the time we've done it, we probably had about an hour to do it. And then halfway through doing it, like we're like, oh, there's someone at the door, you know. It turned out it was just the clerk for the for the house, you know. So. Kev knew him, it was fine, but then eventually we got out there. But it was a funny experience, you know, it was like kind of like one of those houses for GTA. You know, it's yeah. got a gate that opens like that. I thought that would have was... been, like, I thought that would have been like one, the, the, like the guy that owns, the, one, the, the CEO, it's like the CEO of GTA, I think it was like his mansion or something. Yeah, I don't know, but... it was like GTA combined with like Pride and Prejudice, yeah. you know. Like it would be in a film or something. Or something yeah, yeah, exactly. So... So yeah, I'll probably never have a house like that. <laughs> so it was nice to go to one. <laughs> good to film it, good to have a metal. Yeah, and, and it worked out a good video. You yeah. know, there were swans in it, you know. It's, yeah. uh... <laughs> that's it, that's the Yeah, it went, worked with the vibe, you know. It was kind of a moody, kind of rainy day, you know. It didn't yeah. rain, but it was... It was Threatening that it rain like it. It was autumn, yeah. yeah. Definitely, I think it was just like... It was, yeah, it's, it's and the sun's just come back out again as well. The sun's actually just come back out again. Yeah. What the well, what what strange well had this this in the UK? The well has been so weird, yeah, hasn't it? Yeah, it's just unpredictable. We try we try to get a music video done, and it's <laughs> that'd be a bit funny to do it in this sort of time of weather. Eh? Yeah, because I mean, it like, it's just doesn't know what to do now these days. to even get a bit even. I know that's when you have to if you want to do it, you have to have a backup plan. You know what what if it's raining? What do you do? You know that kind of way. Do it here. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, if you know, it's like. Yeah, but then you're spending whatever, however much money it costs you to amusement nowadays, yeah, and yeah. Uh, yeah. just to sort of do it in a room, you know what I mean? Like, it's just yeah, like you're kind of wasting the, it. Where the videographer sort of fees, yeah. Like, uh, sort of that. Yeah, and it's, you know, it, it is good to have music videos. It's definitely good to do one, at least, but, you know, doing them is expensive, so it's like, is it worth the money, or would you rather record another song, you know? You could yeah. record two songs probably for the one that costs you sort of music video, so it's like. Yeah. Better to work on the song, I bet. Yeah. Just, just works out for a band, I guess. Eh? Exactly, yeah. So we, we might do it, we might end up doing it, we might just need to adapt, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, should we introduce ourselves on the podcast and what, you're, what the role is in the band? Sure, yep, yeah, yeah. So, Sam Chris, I'm the guitarist, the vocalist. Um, we've also got Kev, who's the drummer. And we've got Jason, who's the bass player. Yeah, they can't, they can't be here, sadly. Is that a beauty, beauty guy, biker kind of type guy, the bass player? Yeah, yeah, he's got a more bike, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's got a Harley. Yeah, um, how's that? Yep, yeah, he's much cooler, you know, he looks much cooler than uh, me and my Ford Fiesta. Yeah, is <laughs> that, that's that, eh? But Harley, Harley's also going to, also looks more metal. On <laughs> it goes to the image. You know, that's it. Still, still that, but that was the case of that case of that sort of style I've seen on the pictures and that, you know. No, yeah, yeah. Um, he's a beardy guy, you know. Like 
hey, the biker kind of type guy, you know, maybe it's like you buy the bike, you know, buy the sort of bike, buy the image. <laughs> you know? Yep, yep, it's what you, what, you, what you see is what you get, as they say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and then I'm Chris, I'm the host of the Hats Off Air Down podcast. Uh, I don't even have any, I don't even have any, I don't even drive, do any, don't even use it, I just use transport to get me there, A to B, non driver, non biker. Mm. But yeah, public transport does the job, it's just, as, in my opinion, it does the job. <laughs> don't use it for years, so <laughs> yeah. it still works. Uh, but it turns out. Yeah, it turns out. And, I like, and of course, I like trains, that's one thing about me, trains and, you know. As you say, yeah. we'll talk about this on later down the line. That's we'll talk. We'll actually have a wee train story to talk about this on the podcast. All oh, right, we'll talk about this down, that. down the line. Yeah. So yeah, yeah we talk about the, we normally talk about the well, we normally go the full podcast as you probably know. Eh? Got yeah, the, got the red bill as well. Yeah, sorry, it's been it's been a long day. Sorry, I should yeah, I should have brought you in. Awesome. I feel very rude now. No, that's fine. <laughs> that's right, I know you. You work in a cafe. Yeah. <laughs> it's a like coffee. Yeah, get coffees and hot chocolates and stuff <laughs> down the stairs, but the box of it's not open. So yeah. I can make do I can make I can make the I can make the time, can spend the time for any beverages for the time games, but shout out to Red Bill. Yeah. Yeah, Red Bill. Other energy drinks are available. Yeah, Monster Energy as well. Yeah, energy yeah. Drinks, monster. Yeah, yeah. that your jam then. Look forward to being sponsored by them one day, hopefully. We'll get them on, get the get a song played on the radio <laughs> on the maybe get a song out there, maybe one of your songs might get played on the radio ad or something or, you know, Maybe, yeah, yeah, I'm saying yeah, that's 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 so yeah, we will follow the podcast. So yeah, just like to you could just fire some questions to me, me and us fire questions to me as well. If you don't mind, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. Well, how long you know? What made you start a podcast? Just uh, started it because of the pandemic and that. Eh? Oh right, yeah. Because uh, I did a radio station for a while and then I decided to be podcasting or something and just getting it a bit more. Oh, okay. And you were fans. just bored to take it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because you know everyone was. Everyone was sitting and getting bored because everyone can do things. Because mm. my radio, the radio station was, so we had to just record shows in the house and uh, at home and that, that was also as well. So I did that for a while and then mm. decided it was, it was going a lot longer and I thought and I decided to stay back in the radio and start podcasting because I had that sort of experience behind me podcasting and I mean radio, I mean before podcasting. so. Mm. It makes you a more confident with other people and speaking to other people and, you know, yeah. it's that way, that's it. So, podcasting, we've been doing that for two years now. Nice uh, two, two years in, two, two years last July, uh, July before, uh, mm. July 2022 I started. So, I've been doing it for, I'm sorry, the longer two years now. Cool. So, just, it's very good just to be with other people and bands and stuff and always look forward to Hitting the band up and getting them on, and yeah, you know, make conversation. That's it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you seem to have passed quite a lot of bands on. So far, 60, 65 at the moment. Yeah. Uh, I was back from like my friend and uh, had my friend on one episode and that so on, but uh, most of the time it's been bands. Mm. So, yeah, keep it, keep the ball, keep, keep the ball going and see where it goes. Yeah, no, that was why I started uh, my band as well, because the band, oh, not, it wasn't why I started the band, but it's just when I started it, yeah. you know, because it was, you know, it was, well, before that I was really, the, yeah, I moved down south for a year, and I got really into Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and oh, then yeah. that became like my focus, you know, oh, yeah. and then that is effectively illegal once I moved back, because it was like the pandemic and you couldn't be within six yeah, yeah. feet of somewhere else, so that yeah. made it basically, you couldn't do Jiu-Jitsu, you know, so it was... That. So then I just literally was like sitting in the house like with it and then it was just like so I just started getting quite into my guitar again, you know, I'd played previously in bands and stuff and hadn't done it for a few years, so then Yeah, yeah. I got got major into it and then literally I would just wake up and I would play my guitar and then I would I would and then I would go well, I would work and then I would play my guitar and then I just done that for about a year, you know, yeah. and then eventually I just started like writing songs. Yeah, and, yeah that's it. And it just uh it out, yeah. and I got a lot better at my guitar because of it um, yeah. and then everything went back to normal again and I was like 
God's sake. That's, that's very, very <laughs> it's hard fun. and you go do some social stuff now, but then it was, you know, it was good because you end up, yeah, I basically recruited, you know, went out and looked for people for... Political members for the band. Yeah. That's how, uh, that's how uh, in charge I guess that even. Totally, yeah, just just looking for people on Facebook, you know. Yeah, that's, that, that's the thing, and join my band sort of thing was something I did as well. Yeah, so, like, yeah. And ads and that, yeah. Nice. Yeah, did, did you play? You I played in a band like years ago, but then I guess in pandemic kind of sort of put that off as well. That's what did you play? I played the guitar as well. Cool. Uh, it's like yourself, we're guitarist, uh, playing, playing Metallica covers on the guitar for a bit, and we were nice. playing Metallica and did that for quite a while. And then it was just took me a lot, took a lot, get, it took a wee while to get a band on the go. Um, I did a project. Uh, did a project that only lasted a month, and then we did drum and kind of drum and kind of left that project, and uh, then we started. And I started just online and looking for members to join the band, and then that took a while. Yeah, that was like the drum. I think this was probably like seven, eight years ago. Now this thing happened. I mean, this project it never got off the line. Yeah, we're trying to get gigs on the go because we're trying to push ourselves a little bit. The members, you know. Yeah. Drummer and the German guitarist and we were kind of we we sort of recorded a demo and then because of the demo and then after that it was uh, I think after the demo we just jammed a couple of times and then that was how it just fell through unfortunately. It's one of yeah. these bands that just never gets the like the light and day sort of thing, yeah. Yeah. And don't get any names, you know <laughs> this band sounds amazing. They recorded a nice a week cool demo and Oh, you just want you just want to try and get it out there and play gigs, but that never happened. You so ever thought of just releasing it? Uh, it's on. I got it on my computer somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. on my hard drive something. I just yeah. I couldn't use it for. I could always use it for like a song for the podcast. Like nothing. I think about it. Could yeah, have a good intro yeah, song. Intro song, just a wee snippet of it or something. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, that that was uh, yeah. So I've got that. I've still got the demo there on the computer. So I'm gonna wait and see, see see if I can figure out where I can put that on the podcast. Yeah, uh, I don't know where it is actually. I might have, might have had it on my other. Might have it on my drive somewhere. But yeah, like, it's one of these things. Eh? Totally. Just yeah. to suss it out, suss it out, and find it. I know, yeah, <laughs> so I mean, find, finding people that are committed is the hardest thing yeah. about it. Yeah, so know? that fell through and thoughts through that. And then I just, yeah. just, uh, just tried to get another project. I just had to do the online thing for a while and then find, find a guitarist. Uh, but then he packed and jacked in as well after a couple of jams. And I uh, just kind of gave in, I think. And then I met a friend at a gig. Got a friend, one a friend at a gig, and we just said he wanted to start a band, so he he was in the Metallica as well, so that was a good good start, and yeah, we just took it from there. We just jammed in the house and jammed up, jammed in Bernard Row as well, Bernard Row Studios in Edinburgh. Shout out to them. Just nice. really practice in there for a bit, uh, and then I think our band just we decided to yeah, our band kind of got a name. We were called Mitch, and we played a gig in Legends as well. Oh, okay. Under the opium name when it was before the before it changed because that was like past the pandemic it changed its name isn't it it was like it was opium before yeah and then we played like what did we play Metallica covers like uh, was, there was a video of some in it a video of us some of us praying as well five five members five well five piece bands Mitch and then we kind of like cover we were playing covers but I just. I just think the band, we just jabbed in because of the band there, you know, that, because mm. it was supposed to, it was like 2019 we played this gig and then after that, mm. that was it. Yeah. Just gave in, just too much, I just couldn't bother the band's music stuff anymore because it was just taking too much, too much time to get the ball rolling and... Yeah. The mental, just the ways they lost the momentum after a while, the mental just, just fell through and, you know, I think the pandemic there caused because I wasn't quite sure how long it would take to get back to normality, so I was never very really picked up the guitar after that and just focused on podcasting and I've never really picked up the guitar since the pandemic now. Mm-hmm. It'll be just the odd one I'll play, like just a wee, maybe just, just about a couple of minutes, maybe like they'll play now and again, but then mm. just don't bother with it. 
I just yeah. so much the rain on the guitar at the moment, but you never know, it might change, you never know, it might change, I might get back into the, the music thing if, if there's something else to change, but at the moment, stick with the podcasts, keep those runs. I think it's still good to see other bands and, you know, keep interviewing bands, it's, it's very fun, it's kind of like the first, like, I guess in a week for local bands, you know, it's always good to just get that out there. Yeah. Yeah, you just need to get started and go for it. That's that's. Um, yeah, well, this is what the podcast is going. It's 60 yeah. to 65 in, and it's still going. Well, totally. Um, the episodes will be the be the special, I reckon, when we get to that. So, so we so we talk about the trip then. The top to bottom, we don't talk about a trip all the way on sort of thing. That's what we talk about. It's, you the, know what I mean? The trip sound. The drip. Sorry. The drip. Yeah. So like, like clothes. Like clothes. Yeah. yeah not in mean that. If you know what I mean. Yeah. So, so that I might start to sell that to me. Uh, I'll go for a, or kind of start from my hair onwards to the, to the top bottom. So I've um, got my Chris Cornell here. I'm a great grungy guy, but I don't, I'm not grungy, I'm a proper metalhead. It's like old a, school Chris Cornell. Old, old school Chris Cornell, but, but a proper metalhead. So I've got all the metal shows, like all the local metal gigs and that in, in Edinburgh. So. Support local bands. Got to go for it. Yeah, head bang it. Get some head banging. Get some get some heat banging, as I say, and get some. I don't windmill it in parts of the way, but I'm always not the best at windmill. Just head bang it. Yeah. Uh, wait a minute. In frames, shot. Uh, in frames. Give a shout out to these guys. In frames from Sweden. Uh, yeah. Just like in Chad and frames. It's another band. Yeah. Within that. And in in mutual as well, like in the van as well. Yeah, yeah, got the van t-shirt on, yeah. Yeah, so it's not like in, it's a lot of wins today, isn't it? In Chad, in frames, and yeah, it just makes sense, isn't it? Totally, yeah, yeah. So this is a cool shit at the end. I think this might have been one of the last albums, uh, and it has this at the back. Think of think of it at the end or something, but I don't know what that actually means, if, to be honest. Oh, right. Thinking at the end. So you have, like, a, you have an album or something, yeah, maybe? Yeah, maybe. I know, not, I don't know, I think any of the song. Yeah, maybe the other song. So, this is a kill cool shit. I think I'm not sure if I fit this one up at the end phase gig or I just had this one. I don't know, where did I get this one again? I do have one of the tour dates in the back, but this is not one I've got. I said I fit this one up before. Maybe at the gig as well, but I can't remember. 2019. Because mm-hmm. I went to see him frames with my friend in Glasgow. Twice I've seen them because they played Edinburgh as well, like good rooms. Mm. Maybe you were there, but I was there. I uh, was there in 2021, it was, 2022, it was, or something. Mm. Uh, I can't remember who was supporting that night. It's always bad, to, it's always hard to think with these supporting bands because you always there to see the, the main bands. Yeah, yeah. There's no point with like, supporting bands, just don't get like the rest of the, the session and you always forget them. Like that's why I mean I've forgotten the supporting bands. And then you realize you might have seen this this band was supporting in frames, you know, went back and I found this band that supported in frames, you know. Mm. And then I say I think I found recently I saw the band that was supporting in frames or the band called the uh, I can't remember what they're called again, the De- Defensor or something. Uh maybe not. Like a metal core band that were playing supporting. Mm-hmm. Oh good. And uh, yeah, saw them in the grass uh, in the round grass for twice. I've seen them frames. Uh, so like I can say the bright bands, a lot mm-hmm. of death metal, Scandinavian metal. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah going to the going going to the sort of bottom half of bottom half now is my bits. I think these are pill and bear jeans with bits and them denim jeans, pill and bear. I've got my nail varnish as well. You know. Bring that on every podcast that's chipping away, as I say, every episode that's getting there now. Uh, so, plumbing in some yeah. new banish, plumbing in some new, uh, chipping in some new, brat new banish. Uh, and then go right to the bottom of Converses, uh, former partner, like Victory. Yeah. Victory. Whipped, uh, and slipped. Just a bit, bit of a pretty nuts. The thing that's ready to go in, the thing that's finished, I think. Had him yeah. on a few times in this podcast and I'm really hard to do now, I think. Yeah, mm. possibly. Come on, so I ain't come, 
Jesus, they look last very long and thoughts to the quarter of a bit bad. Yeah. It's one of these things they uh, just do to celebrate really quickly now. Ah, uh, totally. I hate it. Yeah, I do I have a bit of conversation about wearing them, but they, yeah, they've done okay, you know. They've they got them on and yeah. they've matched them up. I know, no, it's just, uh, you know, I've got a black, black t shirt and these black shoes, you know. Yeah, so. Matches. Yeah. So you drop now, I guess. Yeah, nice, yeah, so nice, I'm nice. just, I'm just, just got my, just my regular hair, you know, not inspired by any okay. particular person, just, just, short, yeah. just short hair, just regular short hair, you know, do need a haircut, you know, okay. um, yeah, you still have hair like that, you know, but right days are gone, unfortunately, right I had a very stressful way, uh, you know, a couple of years and when I was about 25, <laughs> and uh, no, it just, it just, it just fell out, okay. You know, so yeah. uh, you know, but you know, I make up for it in, in rock energy. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Still so, have that under the skin, I guess. Yeah, still headbang. You still know. headbang. But still headbang. Do not have the hair. Yeah, headbang, you know. Um, and then I've obviously got um, just my my shirt. My yeah. I don't even know what colour that is. Like, it's like plain matte shirt. It yeah, like I mean, it's not very much. It's, it's boohoo, boohoo boo man. Yeah, shout out to boohoo man. Boo to boo man, this is boo man as well, I think. And then I think we've got Nirvana, just Nirvana. Just uh, talk about the Nirvana shot a wee bit. Yeah, Nirvana, yeah, obviously in, in, in New York, so yeah. The yeah. lesser known album, yeah, but one of the album. one of the best, yeah, you know. Album, yeah. yeah, the one that's got um yeah. you know, uh It's so one of man's man man heart shaped box, didn't Yeah, heart shaped box, obviously. One. That one. Yeah, that's the only one but obviously never mind the bigger one. Yeah, exactly. It's it's the one that you know. It's it's the famous trip. one. I've changed so that. Yeah, I think it was the one they wanted to make. You know, it wasn't as commercial. Yeah, like, you know, it's not double yeah. track and stuff like that. Yeah, that one wasn't. Eh? Yeah, and then you know, yeah, the bottom half you know, my super cool uh, Marks and Spencer jeans. Right. Uh, yeah. Bought bought <laughs> by my fiance Rachel. Shout out to Rachel. Sure, right. And uh, I've got my 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 ring. Uh, this is actually it's technically my engagement ring. Oh, is that? You know, it's metal. Um, it's metal. So it's pretty metal. Yeah, it's more metal what than. The, I'll take it off the diamond ring I got her. You know. Yeah. You know, you have happy. You know, whatever. Thousands of thousands of pounds, and <laughs> I get this silver. You know. I don't have it. I just have these bands on the stage <laughs> tomorrow. Bands. And I have nothing speaks. Yeah, and then these are just some shoes off, some some leather sort of black sh- regular shoes off off Amazon. Uh, I can't remember what. Amazon. Yeah, you know, but they look nice and uh, yeah. yeah, you know. Like, like the look designer ones. Yeah, yeah, they look they look designery, you know. Um, yeah, they're decent, you know. So comfortable. Yeah, not really, <laughs> but they look good, you know that way. Not nice. really, yeah, not that comfortable. They're a bit like old boots, you know. Uh, but are they quite old then? Um, no, I don't think so. They're pretty recent, you know. Uh, but the, um, I think they're leather, so they do last. Yeah. That's the thing. You know, go with a t-shirt. That's it. Yeah, black and white. Black and white, yeah. That's the way you go. Yeah. Think, exclusively. Think Converse is a quite good as well for like rock bands. As well. Yeah. Yeah. Just. Just don't last very long, but yeah, that's a drip then. Yeah, that's a drip. That's a drip, as they say. Yeah, you know. Um, just keep it moving, eh? Keep it, keep, keep, just, uh, it's always good to ask lots of bands. Yeah, I mean, this seems to be like my, my regular, it's always a shirt, with a t-shirt, a band t-shirt. And yeah. And jeans, that's yeah. pretty much as close as I wear. Simple, simple, it's quite simple. Exactly, I've, I've narrowed it down, I know what I like now. Sometimes you get all the bands that do wear them, like you know, have all the, all the, all the like you know like proper metal heads. We all the, you know, they have all the chain links and all that. Yeah, yeah, I do actually have a chain. John Martin's. I do do usually have some stuff in my wrist, but then I don't know. I may have lost it, like. <laughs> I, think, I, think so now, yeah. I may have lost some of it on so, so on I'm a bit <laughs> not as bling as I usually am, unfortunately, which is which is terrible. Maybe 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 the next episode two point oh episodes. I mean, because like, I come from work as well. I don't like to be too blinged up in work. Okay. So you know, it's, yeah. it's very professional, and you know, I don't like to wear like death metal rings. Death People metal get scared, metal, and they're death just metal like, as well. yeah. I was just about to think of. I was actually just about to wear a death metal band shirt, but then I decided to change it. I'm not quite sure, so I'll just find this. So the first one to come out in the closet today, so yeah, I have to wear them for the shit. But oh well, 
Oh well. Next time I've got a dead metal band on, or brass metal band on. Yeah. You were saying about wearing Metallica shirt on there with today, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about the uh, White Delight and shirt was going to come on. And yeah. Could have wear black, could have worn Metallica shirt on the so, you know. Like, it'd be funny. Go to Clash, you know. Don't want to crash with each other. Yeah. You know, like, uh, we'll be like a disaster. Band. We're a tribute band. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's it. It's all the tribute bands that do all that stuff. They yeah, band t shirts sometimes. Yeah, I think I'm. Je- I know I'm, I'm kind of jealous. I can't, you know, like I know there's a lot of bands the way you, you know when you look at bands, you're like, that's a band just from the way they look. Yeah, I just kind of look like a regular person, but I just know that if I tried to dress up like I was in a band, yeah, it wouldn't be me. If you know what I mean, it would just seem fake. You know what I mean? So I just I just tend to try just like. Just wear, wear just what I comfortable, what I think looks good on me and whatever, and that's yeah. it, you know. Um, oh, it's comfortable. Keep it simple. Comfortable. Quite casual. Yeah, exactly. You know, check shirt. <laughs> yeah, check shirt. But emails and that quite casual as well. I feel like that's a bit, I think emails are quite simplified as well sometimes. Yeah, true. Just apart from the hair, I think that's the only thing that's not simplified, but mm-hmm. taking a lot of time with the hair and the makeup. But Sympathise sometimes the way about the letter shirt and the band shirt and then they wear back bit jeans, kind of like jeans and then congresses, that's just mm. the emo look, but that's obviously lots of sort of emo looks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I wasn't I, I didn't really grow up with emo, I mean I grew up a lot of metalcore stuff. I mean we're saying us off camera you saw with Blink One Eight Two, didn't you? I did, yeah, yeah, I saw them twice. Yep. You enjoy that? that gig. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant, yeah. Yep, what did you see them about? Uh, it's Hydro. Hydro, um, both nights. Um, first night I was sitting down in the stands, you know, um, had a great time, you know, yeah. watched everything, remember everything clearly. Second night, I may have had a couple of pints, okay, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. and uh, the the second half of the game is, is a bit blurry, you know, okay. uh, but I had a great time. Yeah. So. So, no complaints, you know. Uh, I'd do it all over, over again. Well, you see, you can maybe try, you maybe try, maybe try and see, maybe try and see them again, because they'll, they'll no doubt come to Edinburgh again. From, like, yeah, no, I, I, if they come, I'll be there. Definitely. Um, yeah. As long as it's the same lineup. Yeah, hopefully they'll do come here again, eh? Yeah, anyway. Yeah. And I know, uh, I know I like to see, I've never seen the band built for my Valentine, but they were my first metal band, first band I got the metal, believe it or not, mm. and that was back in 2009, got the metal. Yeah. Believe it or not, you know. Yeah, I've seen them a few times. Yeah, Brighton band, but I've never seen them live. I've yeah, now the Brighton live. Got to see them live, got to see them before they, before they call it a day, sort of thing. Yeah. But I don't know if they Trivium early next year. Trivium with uh, Trivium. Yeah. So I think that's a good lineup. Yep. Yeah, Trivium and uh, Trivium and uh, Trivium and uh, yeah, Trivium. I don't know who else. Uh, Trivium and Bullet. That's it. Yeah, yeah. just that. Uh, uh, but super good gig. Yeah. Uh, I might get might get down to that one at some point. Should yeah. So how you uh, so maybe what else we can maybe ask is uh, you can we ask about tours. You got day or tour dates or anything? Yeah. Say, something like yeah. So we've got a tour. We've got a couple of gigs. Um, but one the twenty first of September in yeah. Slay in Glasgow. Oh yeah, I've heard that place, yeah. Yeah. So that's supporting the it's actually a you know, band from over this way, She Burns Red. Oh yeah, I've heard that name. Heard of them, yeah. Yeah. Did I not hear something about them recently? But... Yeah, I think they've just they've yeah, just announced they're splitting up. Yeah, I've heard about that and then thought yeah. it's a shame. Yeah, so this is good with our fair well gig. Oh, that's a bad that's a good shame. Yeah, they were getting some momentum, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, we to really, really, the name just popped out there a little bit, eh? Yeah, totally. So, yeah, them and the Dead Fire as well. They're, Dead they're, Fire, yeah. And from they've been on up this, north. They've been on this podcast. Have they, like, nice. Yeah, a while back now. Yeah. yeah Dead Fire from Aberdeen, Aberdeenshire, maybe. Aberdeen, yeah. they're not so bad, but that's the Aberdeen, but Aberdeenshire, I guess, I'll say that. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to those guys. Like, yeah. Camp Rocky, Heavy Rock. But I've played a few times in Edinburgh, so it's a funny band. Mm. And we've got another band. Uh, I think you might know. You think you might know a few bands, like because uh, I know I'm big into the local metal scene as well. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, do you know what Abel Vance do you, any band have an Abel Vance, you know, from the scene? Um let's take your test of me now. Okay. My my knowledge of I mean I know loads of bands, but um I don't know as many from sort of up in Edinburgh anyway. Um Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you know what bands going on and they come and gone, they sort of thing, new bands have come and bands have gone, sort of thing, yeah, like you know. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, it's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of turnover. But um It's hard to keep it hard to sort of keep what's coming and what's going on. Eh? Yeah. As I've said earlier, bands this practice and never get their name out there sometimes, you know? Yeah, totally. No, I think there is um so, I mean a lot I know a lot. I'm sort of learning all the sort of the Glasgow music, the local bands in Glasgow. Yeah, yeah. Um, cause I've been doing that for a, a couple of years, you know, so I've played with quite a lot of bands. Um But there's a big metal scene in Glasgow as well. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I'm quite a gig, you know, um it's the end of this month, what is it? Um New Shapes, New you know, Shapes, Low Race. Yeah. I heard that name, Low Race, I think. Um, Bell, as well. Bell, Bell Grove, um and only you as well. So that's four that's four bands that I know. I like I'm a fan of all the all the bands, so that's, you know it's good to see them all at one show. That's good. It's good. Um and it's, yeah, it's people, you know, there's a lot of bands sort of catch me them. Uh, that recorded, you know, you, you tend to find that you seem to record with the same people, you know, as other bands, and then you sort of hear about them. Yeah. Uh, or or you play a gig in there, play the next night, or you yeah, know, yeah. or you go to local gigs. So I'm trying to go to more local gigs. It's it's easy to know the bands then, I guess, when you've been because they'll say. Yeah. If you cut very good, very good at local gigs, so they're kind of like those bands are quite big names, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you know them. Yeah, I think you just have to kind of force yourself because yeah. obviously it's always difficult to get, you know, if it's your pal's gig and, you know, they're kind of dependent on you to go, yeah. it does kind of get you out the door, but also people appreciate it when you go to a gig, you know, to go to see them and it, and I always, lo- always enjoy it as well, yeah. so it's just, just, you know, pushing yourself, making the time. Yeah, it's always good to support both to sides out. of things as well. That uh, big fan, going to be like seeing bands like Megadeth and Slayer and, Meg- and, and Flames mm-hmm. and that, it's always good, but it's always better to, it's always good to support the local scene as well. Yeah, yeah. That's as oh, you have to. Yeah. yeah, because there's always a gig, right? It's cheaper as well. And it's yeah, cheaper. it's a lot cheaper, it's, yeah. It's easy to get there. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, you got, you're always going to get a local band from it. Bannermans and Banshees and Legends. Yeah. And like once, in a, once every week or two, you know, weekend or sort of thing. It's always a rock band, metal band trend. So it's, yeah, not, hard, totally. it's not hard to miss out, you know. Mm. Uh, like I see, like, uh, I'm, always looking out, I'm always looking out for gigs, upcoming gigs. And it's, you always see something that pops out of the room, you know. Yeah, yeah, there's also got two other gigs. We've got um, one on the 10th of November in St Glasgow again at Stereo. Stereo, yeah. Sure just that. behind Central, just beside Central, and yeah. we're supporting Black Spiders. Black Spiders, oh, yeah. I've heard of them, yeah, they're quite a big name. Yeah, they're quite big. Prime Radio band, or band Yeah, name. yeah, no, they've had, had a bit of success, so. Yeah, um, it's good to see they're back together again because they, they were away for a while. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's a big, it's a big one for us. Probably our biggest, one of the biggest we've had so far. So yeah. we've got a couple of sort of good support, right, right, support right, slots. Right, right, right. Um, sorry to make, sorry to, uh, sorry to that's as well. Yeah. And then get them on the board. Yeah, and then finally we've got one on the twenty second November, um, where we are support, uh, supporting. We played with them. Is it? Um, I want to say this. I'm going to mess this up now. Um, black, star, some black star rising. Uh, yeah, black that fire rising. Black fire rising. Yeah, those guys. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I messed yeah, up. Um, sure. no, great bands. I've ever played with them in yeah. Le- Legends. We support them in Legends. Yeah, yeah. Um, really cool. Kind of like you know the kind of style, like you know, kind of. Very, a bit grungy, hard rock, dirty, yeah, yeah, dirty exactly. riffs, you know, really seen, um, seen, seen them a few times, cool guitars. Yeah, yeah um, same, same uh, I've recognised the bass players in Nassau as well. Yeah. So it's always quite easy to recognise them. Yeah. So, um, yeah. so, yeah, so we're, I think they're headlining it. It's um, to do 
Um, you know, I can't actually remember. I don't even know if I should have said that, so <laughs> I won't say any more um, who it is, what it is, but you know. Um, you might just boot through the thing right then. Yeah, I might have just, you can cut that. <laughs> no, um, yeah, but anyway, so yeah, loads of stuff coming up. Um, hopefully we get a couple more before the end of the year as well, but I think our main focus now is just on um, writing new songs and recording them, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Eh? Yeah. Right, good, good stuff. Uh, I remember we were saying this other thing as well. You 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 remember Peyton, you know, you know Paper Sailor, don't you? So, uh, yes, yeah, yeah. So he's been on the podcast a few yeah. times. We just recorded a second episode of him quite recently. So mm. he came back on the podcast again. Yeah, nice, nice, yeah, good guy. Yeah, so yeah. I've Michael for a while. He um, he's you know um, probably. Yeah, he's, he's very dedicated, he's, he's very, he's very, very talented, multi, you know. Multi-musician. Multi-musician, yep, yeah, yeah, he can sing, play drums, do yeah. everything, you know. Um, he's doing like electronic stuff now, he's his latest thing, the latest thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something yeah. different now. Totally. It's better than getting out, getting out, getting, out, getting something out, like, something like the, something, something new, something, a jacket in the box, sort of thing, nice. Yeah. Completely different. No, totally, he's, you know, I think, there was during the pandemic actually he was what got me back into music you know where i just sort of wanted to play in the bands and yeah, um, yeah that's good i remember sort of looking for a few months you know trying to find a band that were looking for someone or something that was half good you know and then i listened to his album and it was, it was, it was brilliant um and yeah and then contact him I ended up like you know auditioning and then playing it and that's how what got me back into playing yeah, guitar in the band it was it was a good challenge trying yeah. to learn someone else's songs Paper sale yeah, it was the first time I tried to sort of uh, figure out songs without having a tab. Because obviously, there's if you wanted to learn a tab, it's only you just go look up the tab or you yeah. paper sale. You can't really do that. <laughs> you have to do it by year. It's not on guitar.com. So yeah, it's had to do it by year. So that was a challenge, and that was it worked that's out good. pretty well. That's good to know. Um, yeah. And and yeah, no, it worked really well. We done you know done loads of gigs. Went on a tour down south, went and played like Bristol, Newcastle, this place like that. Yeah, so that yeah. was a really, really cool experience. And, uh, and you know, we're still, we're still pals. We, you know, I practice at his studio. Yeah, like, um, um, every week usually. Yeah, paper sales. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah. Do you know another band that was a, uh, another band you might recognise? We've had, we just went to interview them again recently, Anchor Rain, do you know those? Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I don't know them personally, but I know all of them. Yeah, they're just, really good. Just interviewed them recently as well. It's another band. Cool. Another bit of a name as well. Another rock band out there from Glasgow. Yeah, it was good mentioning actually. Yeah, because they I think they've they've uh, recorded at the same sort of place in Greenwich. Yeah, so there's, 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 there's a street called Anchor Way in Glasgow that they mentioned as well. Yeah. Know, so I need to visit that and see see the wee that wee that humble. humble humble street humble beginnings. I guess they eh? yeah they hang around that street though. That's a that's the street they probably hang around, you know. So yeah. If I go down the Anchor Wayne in Glasgow, no doubt the band will be hanging about. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. It's yeah. Just like, it's just in, it's just in, it's just in town anyway, so it's. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Need to see, need to see them. Uh, the playing in, playing in Edinburgh soon as well. Totally. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, exactly. So I'll just double check the recording for a wee sec, just to make sure we're still going. I think we're still going. Yeah, uh, well, we've maybe went, maybe wind it off uh, soon, I guess, and be another, sure, yep, yeah. another couple of them from our time at, so we'll start winding things up a little bit. No so we should uh, get on to our next question, as uh, we talk about, we normally talk about trains on this podcast, generally it's always a fun talk to talk about in the podcast, we talk about <laughs> railways, trains, transport, yeah. trains mainly. So do you have any train stories or train and train related things to say? Train stories, um, yeah. Um, I mean, the first single we released has a train in the cover. Oh uh, yeah, I think I saw that. One. Yeah, that's called something's coming my way. It's like it's similar to the Darkness train, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's, it's like a bit Harry Potter to be honest, but it's, it's a bit more metal than that. But yeah, it's like the Darkness is trained, you know, the one we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we took it. Reminds you of that. Yeah. It's that steam train, it was metal, very metal Yeah, yeah. I think it was, we were trying to make it sort of 
demonic looking, you know. Yeah, you want to make a steam chain weight metal, eh? Yeah, That's it. totally. So, um, yeah, it's stories involving trains. To us, um, you know, it's... Uh, sad for you, basically. No, as many, not as many as you used to. Yeah. We are driving we are now, which yeah, is, which is sad. Thing, eh? um, you're driving, you don't have much to talk about on trains, eh? I know, yeah. Um, I don't really have much train stories to talk about, so I mean, I've been on trains many times, you know. I've yeah. been delayed a few times on the trains, that's what I could say. Uh, you know, if you get delayed, sometimes you get your sort of, uh, you know, your, you get sort of that, uh, what's the word again? I know I'm trying to book, it's not going to book it, but you know, you get that repay, delayed, repeat, repay from, you know, some of these train companies get a delayed we we pay, you know, if your trains wait like half an hour delayed or something, you get ah, okay. a return yeah. of refund. Something like that. You know, yeah. It's happened a few times I think we've got Oh no, yeah, to me I think I went to Newcastle and then um, for a stag do. It was actually when I lived in Banbury. Oh yeah. Um for for a while and I uh, went to Newcastle for a stag do and I ended up I think I left I think I got the train about half six and I didn't get to Newcastle till about um, one in the morning. Oh, you know? that's not encouraging. Um, because one train was cancelled and then had oh, to wait an hour and a one and then that one was late and then you know it was it was an absolute nightmare. Happy By the time I got there, I was raging <laughs> and uh, totally sober. Everyone else was totally pissed. Um, ended up getting a taxi from a train station to some bar, and then no, yeah, no, and then it was fine after that. I got drunk, but it was just it was a weird it was a weird sort of. Um, it's not it's not it's not it's not the. It's not, it's not the not the ideal thing to happen, eh? But yeah. it happens, eh? Yeah. And one of my friends just said to me he went he went to Kings Cross and he, he quite recently and he had to say his train was like cancelled and I think the following day the trains were on strike, so he had to get a tra- taxi all the way up, which wasn't very good. Mm. Not very good in thought so mm. that must have been a long taxi ride, you know. But mm. I think frankly with, with your ticket, you just saw the, the taxi driver the ticket for the train ticket, I guess, because I'm sure that would be the case of back out, but I don't know where you get a full story on and then you just said you had to get a taxi all the way up because the train was cancelled and delayed. It's just the yeah. same when these things happen, eh? you know. So, yeah. Yeah, but Yeah, what's your favourite song involving trains? Uh train songs. <laughs> that's pretty right there. I mean there's not there's a crazy train where I was yours born, there's That's Master, true, yeah. Top yeah. Train right by Master Don. Yeah. Was, yeah. There's a... Uh, there's techno train by I went to Cowboy. Yeah, yeah, I was just, just thinking that one in my head there. That, 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 was, that was that one's pretty dope. Me too. That's bouncy that one. I mean I heard that one. I heard those uh, if you check out the band Swift on I had them and this when we just mentioned the train tech, they they're the one that mentioned mentioned it. So I'll i say I'll say I can listen to the I'll listen I'll say I can say to Swift on I'll listen to Techno Train, it's that's so amazing the music video. Mm. It's all the train as well. So and they have that break yeah. down or something due to wait time that's just pretty dope. So it's, it needs to be a lot more metal bands that do stuff about trains. Uh, but yeah. Generally, this is a conversation we always talk about on the podcast. I think there's always something about trains. I don't know why it's me being a train, 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 me being a train, train geek, you know, liking trains yeah. and that, you know, that's it. And there's a freight line behind us, as I said on the podcast, behind the wall there, there's a freight, freight line, so all the freight trains will go over. Past it, past there, you know, behind the wall. You want to see the trains, but you know, it's always, mm. it's always a freight train going past. So, yeah, you know, I said, I remember another question that could say is, uh, do you stay in your railway track? That's, um, that's always a cool No, 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 really. paper sailor said, said that to me. He stays next to a railway line. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's always quite, it's always quite funny when we ask that, ask that to fans, just to stay mm. next to a railway track, because that's always quite funny. Yeah. yeah but, yeah, it's, no, it's unfortunately not. Wish I did, you know. Well, yeah. I actually don't wish I did, but it, at least five minutes away, I'd, I'd, I'd like to be closer so I could walk to the train station. <laughs> yeah. But it's far yeah. away from me, actually. Yeah, especially here as well. Also, I mean, we have away, some new bit and we have to go to the town, but yeah. that's the nearest line from us. Of course, that's probably the closest line is that one there, in my, in yeah. my case. It's not, it's not too far, but it's not, it's not a train station there in Foxhoe, so. I hope we get my train now. Yeah. I have to go out in Edinburgh, Edinburgh way, way, just get a train. You can get plenty of trains. You just get your uh, one world train that only shows up every hour or two. That's yeah. It. So it's not very, not very ideal. It's just <laughs> anyway, so 
Yeah. On the plane anyway, so there's not very many passenger trains. Yeah. Unless they go back to the depot, that's one thing, but... Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, trains, that's something we say, we always say on the podcast. Mm. Uh, but can I ask, I can always, I can ask where, do you watch your guitar? Because I could ask about your gear as well. Yeah, yeah, I was going to ask you actually, what's playing guitar do you have? Yeah, I've got an ESP, yeah. Uh, I oh, have cool. a guy called, I actually have a guy called Slingerton model, the DX600, so I've played out on the band. Cool. Brown guitars, black and red, black and red, sort of maxing up room as well. So that's sort of Les Paul? Sort of shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GH600. Yeah. It's Kyle's signature model, so GH600 is probably. I'm sure I've seen that. It's like before. a 600, it's like a 600 CC. It's probably his most powerful guitar. So like EMGs. EMGs. Yeah. Red EMGs. Uh, it's got a. I think it's got a Freud. Freud. Freud Rose. Or oh, that's okay. Bridge. I don't remember if that's a Freud Rose. Rockin Bridge. Yeah, uh, Rockin Bridge. Uh, Lockin. Sorry. No, it's not. Like, no, but I think I think I'm. I think I'm like you're saying as well. I, don't, I actually don't know 100% what the bridge is. Yeah, yeah. Just, just a direct one. But I'm Fair sorry, enough. So I'm not invested in knowing everything I'm techno, about, techn- technical about guitars these days. In fact, sorry, but I know, I know Freud goes. I had mm. it, I'm sure I had it on a guitar. I had a Freud goes on it, but I don't know if I have it anymore. It's a walking bridge. Yeah. We actually did a strat, the spider strat that we, we bought the cut by right, cut hammocks. Uh, Fingerboard and that, and then mm. yeah, and this guitar never really got finished. I mean, it was just it was just a rust job. It was kind of rushed, and we never really finished it properly. So Fair enough. It was just a bit of a shame. It was a, I was making it a bit. It was a kind of strap that we were going to make it a bit more metal. Yeah. I used to work on it for ages, but he, he did like he had he bought this like funny enough he just I'll, I'll say this hat, so I think this will be fun to say, but he bought like car paint and he's like chubby cans of car paint and he's. Just painted up, spray painted up, <laughs> and then and then the the paint was all soft and that. So oh. if you fix it, if you touch it, just if you touch it for nail, it just dents it. Oh no! Not very good. Not very hardened. So yeah. That guitar is just pretty much so. It's virtually ripped apart now. <laughs> just, just I don't even know. Guitar is just, it's just, it's just done. I think now. Yeah. It's a shame. We spent money on that as well. You know. Yeah. Just, just to just. Just to drop it in, and just take it all apart, and mm. not me using that's just a shame. Yeah, one of these things and so. What's your guitar then? I've uh, got uh, my main guitar, um, Gibson Les Paul Standard. Oh, yeah, um, 60s. This is the, it's the one that's out there, the 60s model, so it's a bit maybe slimmer. Seen, maybe you see it on the picture, 60s you? neck, yeah, yeah, um. I played it in the the two most recent music videos. That's that's where I've had. Yeah, it. I saw that. Yeah, that. Nah. Kind of the dream guitar, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Um, Rice balls are dope. Yeah. Like uh, Guns N' Roses, then I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm a very Guns N' Roses fan. Yeah, yeah, I think, and I've got three of them. Um, not three of that specific one. I've got the standard one, and then I've got the tribute, which is basically the sort of entry level. Was the entry level? What and was I've just, that? The other, the other, that's changed now. I think they stopped making the tribute. Um, that was the first one I got, and uh, there's also um, the one that I just got recently, which is the modern light. Right. Um, Don't think I know that one. But. Yeah. What well, is? It's basically like they've sort of taken the body and made it half thinner. Oh really? Like yeah. Just to cut the weight. And that. Yeah, yeah. To cut the weight, make it cheaper. And yeah. um, see, <laughs> that's why I'm gonna be getting, I'll be getting the half cut, I'll be getting the modern one. Yeah, the it, I think it's the, the finish isn't, it's not got obviously the flame top, um, or the maple, it's not got the maple top, it's just, it's just white, it's just basically, um, satin, yeah, yeah, right, satin finish, and that makes it, that's it's, it's actually really nice, looks really nice, it's almost cream colored, um, it was on sale, <laughs> right, yeah. that's, so that's good. You know. I do have a couple of other guitars myself too. Uh, uh, the first guitar that I've got is a BC Rex Swarwalk. Nice. It was a cheap one, I think it was like 100, like 100 and I don't even know how much it was, but it was like in 100 something, 100 plus kids. So it's not in the not, not, not in the 200s, but the 100s. Mm. It was a ton, you know, a ton, as I say, like the 100s. Uh, so mm. It was a BC Rex Swarwalk, it's probably a cheap one. I don't yeah. know if I think anything special about it. Yeah, the, thing, the only problem is the first guitar is always a cheap one, isn't cheap it? Cheap one. Yeah. The, 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 the jack is 
the jack is kaput at the moment, so oh. they, it just keeps it doesn't plug in and click anywhere it's broken. Yeah. So apparently quite cheap to fix the jack. You yeah, know. I think yeah. I need it still not because it's still so no, it's gone out. It's a metallic finish, I think. Yeah. Metallic finish. It's a nice guitar, I've seen it, but you know, mm. spiky, you know, all up is quite spiky, it's kind of metal looking, you know. Mm. So, you know. Yeah. That was my old guitar and I, I do have a way sure I've got a bass pole, sure. And I got a bit more and I had a wee bit more under my in my pockets I got a bass pole, but I don't know what model it was. Mm. Uh, it was a black one and it's a wooden finish, you know, maybe similar to what the one you're saying, it's a black woodsman finish, but yeah, just a, just a wood finish, but I don't know what the model was. I'm so bad at knowing that. Yeah, was it like junior one or was it probably probably a junior one? Did that one pick up? I had two pickups. So two, it. yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it was like the back. It was all black. But I can't remember the yeah. model. Yeah, it was just a maybe a studio or something. Like that. Yeah, just a, just a wood finish. Yeah, one. yeah, but. Yeah. Oh, we do really need to get a picture, maybe insert a picture on that yeah. so it maybe makes sense to the viewers listening and in yeah. these guitars, you know. But right, my first one was an acoustic one. Um, oh, was it? Just like a Jim Deacon, something like that. But oh, it was nice. just massive though. Just, <laughs> just didn't really like, fit me properly. Like you know, heavy, those kind of comfortable. Like heavy thing, yeah. Um, but then I think I saved up my paper round and got a ESP F fifty. Do you remember that one? Yeah, ESP. Yeah. yeah. F fifty. F fifty. No, I don't know that one. What's yeah, it's, it's, it's spiky. Spiky. Um, metal. You know, very metal, yeah. Yeah, um, S50. F50, yeah. It's like um, a bit of totally Ferrari red, yeah. Oh, Just is it? Looks totally must cherry be a, red. Must be a Ferrari. Ferrari. Must be a, a signature Ferrari one then. Yeah, maybe. Ferrari must have made one. Especially. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you've still got it. It's a good guitar. Yeah. Just, um, you know, it's just to see, it's a bit, see better days, but I don't think I'll ever get rid of it just because. So it's fast bikes. Eh? Sentimental. Yeah, you want to keep it in maybe the back bar maybe in the day. Yeah, I'm not around to it. Same, same market tasks as well, you know. Yeah. Keep them for the time being. Yeah, I want to put ESPs in it. Um, Might try and get that. Sorry, EMGs. EMGs. That was my sort of, my dip into sort of uh, changing pickups, you know what yeah. I mean? Just to much customise yeah, it. Yeah, make it all metal in that. Yeah. Yeah, I should try and get that. When I, when I try and get music back into music, I should try and get, I should, so it's trying to get that guitar finished again, back together again, that yeah. that strap cast it's just been in bits. So I was trying to make it like Cut Hammett's guitar or mm. something, but we've got the Cut Hammett pit guard. There's a pit guard or something you call it when you have the pickups on there and a, and a, you know, for example, you've got a strat you have to take it comes off, it's a pit guard, isn't it? Mm. Is that? Yeah. That's it. So I had the EMGs on it, the pit guard that we got. So it's ah, okay. bit, so it's more metal. -y. I was trying sure. to make it a bit more metal strat caster, so it was you know, yeah. that's a bit more, not you know, for like grungy bands, but I think they have a bit of a metal thing underneath the serves as well. Mm -hmm. But I was trying to make it more of a metal guitar with the EMGs, but never. Also, maybe we can get this guitar back together again, because uh, trying to fix it again, get it together, but we'll see. It's been sitting there for years, so I don't know if yeah. I've lost all the bits together now, I've lost all, all the screws and all that, and what so, but we'll see. Yeah. Well, I think I think we're going to wrap it up. I guess um, right. well, it's been really good to get you on the cool. podcast. Yeah, thank uh, you. Where can you find uh, that? It's a uh, we can check out in charge. Then. Yeah, so uh, in charge band on any social, you know, on Facebook, Instagram, um, Linktree. You know, if you just type in in charge band at Google, it should pop up. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we're on everything. Uh, obviously YouTube just had released a video. I don't want to be you, so. Yeah, check uh, that one out. Get check that one out. Yeah, get all the views. Um, yeah, in charge band on YouTube, and um, and yeah, yeah, we just we've got, we've got what, more songs coming out before the end of the year. So, um, that's good. Yeah, got merch arriving as well, and um, maybe some more announcements to come. So keep uh, keep keep Spotify keep on that. In charge. In charge. Uh, all the all the things. The only one out the there. One, the only one in Fine. charge. That's so it. far. Yeah, was we really need to get you on, Chris. So yeah, thanks, Chad. Uh, well, I'll do my sort of sales again. So thanks again for watching the Hats Off Head In podcast episode 65 of In Charge. Cheers. Make sure to like, comment, comment to all. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast. Turn on the bell notifications. Uh, share the podcast out, you know, tell the Terry one of the bands as well. And yeah. On the socials, you know, get out there. 
Um, and also, if you want to check out my other YouTube channel for video game stuff and you know, live kick stuff, it's there as well. Below in the Switzerland box, so you can head by us inside to that channel. Uh, but this channel, the podcast, will have to get more subscribers, so please decide to that, get up to 300 subscribers if we can eventually. Yeah, on the way to that, but we'll keep, keep it going, keep the support going, and hopefully, we'll keep getting more stuff bands on, bands at us, suggestions. That's it. Sounds good. Well, it's been really good to get you on, Chris. Yeah, thanks, thanks, you. To, thanks for taking the time to come on the podcast. Cheers, mate. Uh, that's it. Really good to get you on. Uh, that's it. Thanks again for watching and uh, cool. catch you on the next podcast. Eh? Thank you. Uh, I'll just uh, uh, sign off now.